world and welcome. My name is Miss Multiconsole and welcome to Perfect Dates. This is a visual novel and I think this is going to be one crazy, crazy ride because not only is it a visual novel, it's kind of like a visual novel mixed in with like a dating simulator. So we play as a human, I believe, and we have to date cats. So if you like cats, this is definitely going to be the game for you because this is really fun. So this game was kindly sent to me by the developers and I'm really looking forward to this because the trailer for this game was absolutely hilarious. I will leave a link to the trailer in the description so you can check it out because it's really funny and I thought it was awesome so I was like yep I totally want to play this. Okay so this it looks like there's different endings then and we'll have to check out yeah, how to play. Maybe we'll click that and see if there's anything. Uh, you progress the story. Yeah. If you're feeling spicy, you can progress the story by clicking on this icon. <laughs> Rest to restore your health. Running out of hearts may have consequences. Interesting. Finish three re research events that will result in the completion of your contract. Ending your current chapter. Make sure you've done everything you want before finishing your research. Okay, keep an eye out for anything odd. Curiosity may have killed the cats, but it might lead you to some fun, to some fun extras. Really? Okay, so there might be some like little things that we got to keep our eyes peeled for. That's interesting. Okay, let's go play. Let's get this adventure started. Okay, so there's six chapters. That's interesting. I like it when they tell you, you know, this is what, you know, this is the content you've got. So, you know, tells you like how many chapters there are, how many endings. I like that. That's cool. I also like how it's got like zero out of 18. So we know exactly how many endings there are and stuff like that. Let's go new game. Let's do this. I think this is going to be really fun. Okay, enter name. Let's go with Miss Moti. Which one shall we be? Uh, we can be the geeky one. She kind of looks like Kasima out of Black Orphan. I love her. Okay, we got the one with the short hair or the blonde one. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to go for this blonde one because, yeah, let's just do it. I'm not blonde, but we're just going to go for the blonde one anyway. Okay, auto save. Uh, please don't turn off the game while it's saving. I'm a devil and I reject. I'm an angel. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not though. I think the humour in this is going to be excellent and I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be an awesome game. I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear the deck lad shouts. I'm going to, I'm spicy, I'm going to press that love heart. Oh yeah. <laughs> Island approach, make yourself ready. I'm going to be like looking out for like extras now. I'm finally here. When I applied last month, I was just another broke student living off baked beans. <laughs> wow, that must suck. And didn't think I had a chance of being accepted to be part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. Hey, that's an actual real island in Japan. There's actually an entire island just made of cats. There's also one with deer, I believe. So I watched a video and there's these deer and they actually like bow to you and everything. You know how like Japanese bow to you when they greet you and they bow like, out of respect they were doing it because they knew if they bowed they would actually get food how cool is that they're well clever i thought that was really cool yeah i'd love to go to those places one day japan have all the best stuff yet here it is the little black dot in the distance growing bigger by the second is the infamous cat island the place i will call home for the next few months sounds interesting my heart momentarily skips a beat what if there's been a mistake what if they accepted someone else's application and accidentally sent the offer to me? I rummage about in my bag until I find the papers. <laughs> I kind of get like that. I doubt myself quite a bit sometimes. Uh, DPRI DP, uh, dear Miss Multi, we are pleased to be able to offer you the position of research assistant to Professor Porpa as our research facility on Cat Island. The position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. Professor Pauper. Okay, nice. He's got a PhD. <laughs> no, no, no mistake. That's my name. Right there in the top left-hand corner. Miss Multi. And there's his name at the bottom. The genius behind the whole operation. Professor Pauper. Science genius and my new boss. Oh yeah. I look up from my papers to see dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rocks. Oh damn, how are we going to get there? 
as we get closer, we're not slowing down, and I begin to worry that we're going to crash into them. Then, at the very last moment, Kitty comes to the rescue. <laughs> we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly, we're sailing smoothly towards a jetty through an opening in the rocks. Oh, I wanted a cat to save us, then I'd be like, my hero, and then that would definitely be the one that I go and date. <laughs> This is kind of weird actually, it's a bit like bestiality. <laughs> I blow out the breath that I've been holding and break into a smile. Nicely done, Skipper! I click myself. I guess it doesn't matter where I click. The ferryman comes out from behind the steering wheel, ignoring my attempts at camaradier. Don't I don't think I've seen that word before. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm guessing it means my excitement and my, my victory. <laughs> and shouts a rather... Brisk, briskly. Take all your belongings. We won't be back for days, so don't leave nothing you'll need. I don't know why. I just kind of thought he would be angry. <laughs> Thank you. I smile weakly at the ferryman and his son and pick up my bags, ready to disembark. We glide seeming, seamlessly up to the wooden jetty and the son leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in a uniform, who I take to be a security officer of some kind. Okay, I like the music, it's quite re quite relaxing. Joe? Sir, caught you a mouse. What? And then he laughs loudly, as though he said the funniest thing he's ever heard. It's very disconcerting. <laughs> what? The security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. Let's be having you then. He holds out his large hand, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boats, but as I reach out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance so that I almost fall over the side. What a great start! How rude! ID card! Oh, I see, of course. Oh! <laughs> I reach into my back pockets and hand over the laminated card I was given on the mainland. Okay. Miss Multi, date issue. Okay, Cat Island Security. <laughs> uh, why do the cats need protecting? <laughs> What's killing them? I don't know. He barely looks at it before striding off, grunting over his shoulder. How rude. This way. Okay. I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush and green. I'm already under its spell. Lovely. After no more than a couple of minutes trekking, we're in base camp, which consists of an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid looking structures, one larger and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. The whole camp is moderate, but functional. It reminds me of an army outpost. It really does. What are we getting ourselves into here? <laughs> I'm struck by the lack of people. In fact, there's no one around apart from an older woman sitting outside, peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her a little nod, but she just stares back at me. Okay, that's creepy. <laughs> I try not to get paranoid. <laughs> I would be paranoid. <laughs> the hell? Here. He stopped at the largest of the tents, indicating that I should go inside. I feel rude just walking in, so I make my presence known first. Ahem. <clears throat> Hello? A firm but friendly voice calls out. Come. Okay. This must be the professor. Professor? I walk in and there he is, hunched over some documents. The great Professor Pauper. I don't know why I was expecting him to be a cat. <laughs> Sir, it's an honour to meet you. Yes, yes, you must be Miss Multi. Come in, my dear. Glad to have you on board. Good journey? Well, long. Yes, indeed. We're rather tucked away here. Let me offer you some refreshments. Water? Coffee? Something stronger, perhaps? Whiskey? Um, I... Uh, cup, of, cup of coffee, yes. I don't like coffee, but, you know, it sounds like the right op option. <laughs> I don't know why. It sounds sociable. <laughs> I'd love a cup of tea. Is if there's a pot on the go. Ah, I can tell you're new. The tea here tastes like cat's piddle. Oh, lovely. You really don't want to drink it. 
<laughs> I didn't like it anyway, I don't like coffee or tea anyway. He pours me a cup of coffee from his canteen instead. It's a good thing I like coffee. I don't. It will take you a while to find your way around and discover how it all works. So for today, I thought I would just get you kitted out and maybe introduce you to some of the locals. The cats, that is. I believe you've already met most of the human locals. Oh, I've only met the ferryman and the security guard who brought me here. Yes, that's about it. <laughs> and the lady outside? Ah, Mrs. Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretakers. Wonderful couple, the Marigolds. You'll meet them before too long. We're a tidy little family here, Miss Malty, and I'm sure you'll fit in nicely. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Okay, so first things first. This is your basic kit. He begins going through a pile of things on his desk, explaining each of them in turn. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it. We will be going on plenty of field trips, so it will be very useful. As will your own water bottle. Some disinfectant hand spray. Ah, these are heavy duty reinforced gloves, which are essential when tagging cats out in the wild. Don't want any scratches from felines we don't know, now do we? I suppose not. I shove each item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Likewise, these goggles are to be brought along on all field, tri all field trips. This lot here, well this is a lot of stuff, he indicates to a small pile of what looks like laundry. His basic uniform, lab coats, masks, stethoscope, etc, etc. Portable first aid kit, camping knife with all tool attachments. Finally and without doubt, most importantly... This. A cat phone? <laughs> he holds up something that looks a lot like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't one. This is your catalogue. <laughs> oh god. Catalogue? Yes, the name comes from its earliest version. It was initially designed to record and store data on the cats, scan them and log their details. But as you see, you've come a long way since then. Now you can use it to communicate with the rest of our team. I've added everyone's contact details for you. Listen to music, take photos, there's even a pen that comes with it to insert microchips into the back of cats necks so that we can keep track of them. Oh my god, okay. It's a very valuable piece of equipment, Miss Malty, and I need you to protect it above all else. Do you understand? Okay, yes. He is looking me directly in the eye and clearly expects a response. Yes, sir. Of course, I will look after it. Good. You'll get to know all the functions as you go along, but for now, I suggest we take a stroll out and see if we can't find a few friends to introduce you to so that you can try it out. He hands me the gadget. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but also really keen to have a go. Yay, we're excited. Can we meet some cats now? It's time to meet some cats. Come on, let's meet some cats. All right, here we go. We head down to the beach, the professor explaining things as we go. The mixture of terrain on Cat's Island is quite unique. Even in such a relatively small area, you'll find forests, mountains, jungle, beaches, woodlands and all of these different geological and ecological zones in one place. It really is most remarkable. It certainly is. Even the lack of wildlife is in itself quite remarkable. What do you mean professor? Well, put simply, there is a type of force field that surrounds the island, disallowing anything to enter. That's weird, you mean literally anything? Absolutely, no birds, fish or creatures of any kind can penetrate it. Forgive my lack of intelligence on this subject, but uh, we're here. The professor lets out a disconcertingly loud laugh. Ah, I see what you mean. Well, there is of course, one small break in this invisible wall and that is where we built the jetty. But let's not get too bogged down in all of this right now. What you do need to know is that basically, the island is shaped like a peanut. Okay, he picked up his nearby stick and draws a simple map in the sand. Right. This, our end of the island, is very well known to us. We've been researching here for many years. 
the other end is not so familiar to us. We have encountered difficulties that have hindered our progress in the region. What kind of... Whoa. Whoa, what kind of difficulties? I was just about to say, what happened? Well, we're not sh well, we're not as sure as we'd like to be, but what I can tell you is that the environment has an adverse effect upon humans, inducing nausea at the very least. And the worst? Fainting, migraines, possible nerve damage. Oh god. Gosh, that is serious. As I say, it's best to keep away. But let's not go into all that now, my dear. Run away, girl, run away. This doesn't seem very trustworthy. You've had a long day. For now, let's just say that we refer to the far end of the island as the danger zone, with a good reason. Oh god, I don't like this job. <laughs> I must ask you not to put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain range here. He refers to the map once more, drawing a line just past the centre and an X through the end section. Right, okay, let's go explore that later guys. <laughs> There are wild, aggressive cats out there. I wouldn't want you getting too close to them. Oh my god. And like our lovely fellows, closer to home. Can we meet them? He has led me to a spot where a few cats are lounging about. What do you say we try out your catalogue now, Miss Malty? He stoops down and picks up one of the animals, a disgruntled looking cat who was sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's one big tabby cat. The cat lets out a displeasing mule but doesn't struggle. Its large body, billowing with long orange fur, just sort of hangs in the professor's arm, arms in a lazy resignation. Would you like to have a go at scanning this delightful chap? I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activate it. The gadget immediately comes to artificial life, emitting a boop 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 sound with a red pulsating light. I select the app labelled Cat Scan and it loads instantly. There's no delay on this thing. Cool. The professor holds the cat towards me with his arms outstretched. I'm sure he said the scanning chip is implanted into the back of the neck somewhere, but it's difficult to find this one's neck amidst the thick cloud of fur. I blow to make a passing and press the catalogue to his skin. It's a bit like scanning groceries in the supermarket where I used to work. That should do it. And he plops the marmalade Tom back into the shade. Right, sure enough, upon withdrawal, I find the cat has been successfully scanned. Meow! Alright, cool. Floofy Butt. <laughs> That's actually his name. He's 10 years and 4 months. He's a red tabby, Persian, red. Okay, cool. Amazing! Clever, isn't it? A large part of your job here will be to tag and scan the cats, such as Mr. Floofy Butts here. But it looks like you'll have no problems at all in that area. Excellent work, Miss Multi. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to get started. Well, why don't you get a bit more practice with the catalogue and scan the rest of them while we're here? These five spend a lot of time together. They're like a little family, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. <laughs> The professor seems to be a genuine cat lover like me. I think we're going to get on great. Okay, here goes. No help this time. The professor steps back. The first cat I approach is very friendly with beautiful calico markings. It comes towards me, already purring. Okay. Meow! Isn't that cute? Alright, Trixie, female, American, short hair. Cool, 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 cool. Next is an elegant, sleek, hairless cat, sitting gracefully in the sun. She doesn't pay me much attention and, allow and allows me to scan her with minimal fuss. Meow! Snooty booty. <laughs> I don't like the hairless ones, I don't like them very much to be honest with you. Okay. The fourth cat I approach is a noisy one. Meow 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 meow! <laughs> Muck Murphy. Is one of those really energetic cats then I guess, the really playful ones. And finally, the one I deliberately put off until last, he's been skulking around the edges of the activity, eyeing me suspiciously as though he could pounce at any moment. God, I laugh at myself, already projecting personalities onto these animals. <laughs> I can't do this. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> okay, kibbles. He's gonna be a problematic one. Oh my god, he's British as well. <laughs> of course, had to be. 
All done, I hope you enjoyed meeting some of the locals. The professor lets out a little laugh. I have a feeling you'll get to know them quite well in time. That's probably enough for your first day, don't you think? It's quite a lot to take in. I am suddenly exhausted and grateful to be heading back to camp. Alright, cool. Time for bed. It's saving now? Cool. Okay then, I think I'm going to stop the episode here for now. I think that was, you know, this is a good time to stop. We've met all the cats and we've done our first day. We've arrived at the island and now we're going to bed. So I think this would be a perfect place to stop. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know we haven't really got in, into this game very much yet because I believe that the cats can actually talk and we're going to, you know, try and date to them somehow. So I think this is gonna be really funny. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time. Didn't even get to oh. cross